Oh dear. Good morning, good morning. I just hit my leg on the table. All right. Today, the, the um, prompt is incomprehensible. And I think there's no way that I'm going to be able to portray that. So I'm just going to do an abstract of something, have no clue, and just maybe write incomprehensible. I don't know. I don't know. But what's in this page? This is still Halloween stuff, but it's mostly neutrals. So I can use, ooh, what's this right here? Ooh, I like that. Yesterday we had greens. Oh, I love this. I made this in September. Oh, we're doing this with a little bit of this. Yeah. Somehow, someway. I don't know. Oh, you know what I could do? I doubt if my children's dictionary has incomprehensible. <laughs> but we'll see. Incompatible. Inconsiderate. Incomprehensible. Well, how about that? And right underneath it is inconceivable. I'll use this. That's one of my favorite things to do, too. Okay. And I think I'm just going to make, should I make it a distress page with these spiral things here? Maybe. I have to be. I think I have to cut this one because stuff is glued here and it's not um, like well, a little bit of it smodge podged maybe. I knew what I was doing. Not really. Um, all of you people that have said that you're going to try Nick Bantock. Did I? I must have influenced you. <laughs> Am I an influencer now? That's not my goal. But broaden your horizons. I was broadened by Robin McClendon. I had never heard of him. And I really enjoy his approach to this kind of fun. He makes a living at it, a, a, a pretty darn good living, I would say. Okay, there's white here. Do I want white here? I think I'm going to use these guys because these guys dry pretty darn fast. Um... This green and a little bit of blue. Well, last night our football team, University of South Carolina, beat Kentucky, which blows my mind. So we still might be in the run for play our a bowl game. Maybe. I'm just kind of extending some of the colors that are already here. I've never tried to mix these, I don't think. I kind of like that look. But today we're going to try to go to Georgetown. We tried to go yesterday, but that stupid car. We were there for four and a half hours. <laughs> It was exhausting sitting there. It wasn't the salesperson's fault. She had to go buy a computer program. And you can't do this step without doing this step. Like we, we were just talking. Is that progress? It's all computerized. She can't make mistakes. 
because the computer guides everything. But is that progress? That it should take that long? The old days you could buy a car with a trade-in and we paid cash in, you know, an hour and a half. <laughs> Got to just fill out all the paperwork and they had to do an appraisal on my car, which would have been done. Okay, so now that kind of looks like it's been there. Oh, I need a little white. I might need to let that dry a little more. Anyhow, it was just absurd, but that's just the way they do it. Now it looks like it was all one piece of paper. It looks like it was there all the time, all that time, sort of. I needed this color, but I don't have that color in those tempera paint sticks. Do I add washi tape? my favorite washi tape home. I do have that color right there in my handmade watercolors. So if I do it pretty thick. So yes, I hope you all enjoy your Nick Band talk. And I'm glad I could teach you something since someone was nice enough to teach me something. Now it really looks like that paper's always been that way. Ooh. My white my white broke loose. <laughs> oh, so did my oh, this is the white and this is the yellow. Once I get them used enough, they won't do that. Okay. I think this is a Diane Reevely paint washi tape too, but it's got some of these that blueberry color in it. Do I want to do this? I don't know. How do I want to use this? Do I want to use that? I don't know now. What else is in this little bag of tricks? Oh, here's one of these stickers. No, I don't like that. This is mostly Halloween. Ooh! I should get in that piece. Oh, this is some of that paper that I got. I think I got this off of Etsy. It was a mixed media pouch of paper. But I, it had a lot of green in it. I think I bought that when I was doing my Israel, not Israel, Ireland trip, travel journal. And I've used all the green. <laughs> but it had a lot of Halloween, other stuff in it. No. No. <coughs> Ooh. Maybe. Ooh. 
Okay, I like that color better. And then, can I put like two layers? Maybe. I don't know. I don't know. I'm floundering here a little bit. All right, let's find another treasure trove of paper. What is all this? Oh, this is a treasure trove, all right. Oh, what's this? No. This is just all kinds of stuff. There's maps. Construction paper. Stickers that I made. Cards from Allie Edwards. Vincent Van Gogh. Great things are done by a series of small things brought together. Okay, what is this? This is something I did on Procreate. I kind of like that. This is me when I don't really have any kind of idea yet, and I'm not hearing anything from the paper yet. This is what happens. It's just plain brown. More craft paper. Just kind of keep pulling things out. This could be cut so that you couldn't tell it was a palm tree. Oh, I kind of like that, actually. That with this. Oh, yes. That's screaming. Use me. Use me. Can you hear it? Can you hear it? <laughs> Y'all think I'm probably off my rocker. You wouldn't be far from wrong. But... All in good fun. There's all kinds of stuff in here. Maybe I'll write incomprehensible on this. A book page painted. Okay. Or no, I'm going to use this. That's right. So let's, let's tear this. Perhaps ink up the edge with some paint. <laughs> We took our dog to the car dealership yesterday because thank goodness we did because he would have been like six hours by himself and that would not have been good mentally, probably physically for him. Okay. But he was so good. He sat in my husband's lap most of the time. He had a couple people pet him. He barked at a couple people, which I was a little embarrassed over. And I apologized to them. <laughs> he really hadn't barked at anybody. And he barked out of the blue. I mean, they weren't even near him. Like, whatever, dog. Okay. See, if I use this one on top, then you really can't maybe hopefully tell it's a palm tree. All torn edges. Maybe even put it upside down. I guess we're going to tear this too then. A little bit smaller. Oh, wow. Huh, okay. I don't think I want to use that now. 
but I'm going to color these edges too. I could just write incomprehensible on one of these little guys. No, I'm using this. I'm using that. Okay. All right, get the paints out again. And there's just enough contrast with this color and this. that it, it works. In my head, it works. And we were talking, since I now have an SUV, <laughs> I think I'm gonna drive to Missouri in March for my retreat. My quilting retreat. I can do it. It'll take me a little bit longer. But if I do it on secondary highways rather than interstate, won't be as much traffic. But I have a bigger car. And it'll take me like Five hours longer, but I usually space it out anyhow, so it's the same amount of days that it normally takes me to get there. You know what? I don't think I like that color. It, it actually blends too much. I thought it would stand out more. We're going to use a different color. We're going to use this one instead, instead of that one, this one, which I think is sienna, burnt sienna. But I'm using a lot of water, so it's not going to dry the way I want it to, in the time frame I want it to. Okay, that stands out a little bit better. Which, I, I mean, to get from here, I think one of you lives close to where I'm going. Not close, but possibly a neighboring state. I do not like the Kansas City airport. <laughs> and to get to Kansas City from here, it is at least one layover. Which, well, everything's one layover. And it's a time of year where you can get mixed into spring break for some, and it is a zoo. And airport travel is just not fun anymore. Plus I would have to have a car anyhow, because I have to travel to Hamilton, Missouri from Kansas City, which is not very far. It's like an hour and a half or so. Ooh. Y'all are going to think I'm nuts. But y'all might already think that. Um, I'm going to do something. What color is this? Nope, that's not the right color. Nope. There, that'll work. Do I do it? Ooh. No, I'm going to make circles here. This is magazine paper, so it's a little slick with the markers. If I don't touch it, it might turn permanent. 
in a few minutes. <clears throat> okay. Now, I have to, if I'm going to glue this now, I have to be very careful because it's, let's just glue onto here. Gently. Around my circles. Get this to stay down. All right. This is a little different too. This is maybe not as Nick Bantockish if as I want it to be, but it still will work with the theme, I think. I don't know. I think I'm getting away from Nick Bantock and I really don't want to. Because I really like his aesthetic, but okay. Now I'm going to take my pen and kind of circle incomprehensible. Oh, yeah, yeah. I really want to outline the edge of this, these dots. Oh, wait a second. I can do it in this bronze marker. Yes. Okay. These markers are the best thing. Dollar Tree. $1.25. Some of these I've had since last year. They're still perfectly full of ink. Amazing. Okay, I think that's it. And I really like it. What is tomorrow? I do not know. Okay, M. Oh, Massachusetts. And I did cut out or from Pinterest a little bit of a map of the shape of Massachusetts. And they landed close to Cape Cod, which I really didn't realize all that, which is where my mom and dad met <laughs> at an Air Force base. Okay, I think we're, we're done. And I like it. And my scrap box is growing. It always grows. It's, it's a little bit different so far. I don't mind having the filler page. And I might just, you know, on these filler pages, make a little, like, specimen label and put pilgrims. Just on every single one of them. Just pilgrims. Oh, I, I really love this. <laughs> I almost did the same thing, but I'm like, I can't have two pages the same. But anyhow. Okay, so I'm going to have to have another filler page here because I want to do Massachusetts a double spread. So for right now, I'm going to tape these guys together. This may change when I get home. But for right now... And I want a little bit of a gap so they fold a little bit easier with layers of paper. Okay, let's tear this. Okay, so let's tape this one, this side. Oh, 
Okay, so now this will be here, a filler page. No, this will be the filler page. And this will be Massachusetts, okay. And I might just keep flopping them around like this. I really thought about an accordion. Kirti mentioned an accordion. I hadn't done one in a while, but I, I'm, I'm into it now. I think I'm just gonna make it a book. Okay. See you tomorrow, Massachusetts. Goodbye. Isn't there a song about that? I'm going to Massachusetts. I don't know. Goodbye. Thanks for watching.